We're just looking at the futures right now. After the Fed decision, Jay Powell's comments, we're seeing futures moving higher. Are you surprised by that reaction at all? No, because I think the, the stock market continues to key off longer term uh, yields. Uh, the expectation was very much in line with what the Fed did yesterday. And I, I, I think it's not so much on the short end that we're seeing uh, a driver into the equity market. I think it's in the long end. And you had recently, I think it was October 19th, in the, the 10 year uh, breach 5% for a short period of time. And now we're down at around 475 and driven by the, the refunding announcement and maybe somewhat dovish comments uh, from Powell uh, yesterday. So uh, I think okay. yields are continue to be in the driver's seat. That's, that's interesting. Interesting. You thought it was you thought it was dovish commentary. More dovish than I think some had expected. The expectation, of course, was for a pause, but the assumption going in would be that it was a, a hawkish uh, pause. And he didn't close the door to uh, another rate hike, but uh, I, I think cemented the idea that a continuing in pause mode makes sense right now as they assess the tightening that they've already done and the long and variable lags in terms of okay. impact on the economy and the labor market. So with your take that it's a dovish pause, also futures higher, what's your WEX word of the day? Uh, done. Oh. Notice I said that with uh, an exclamation, I mean, with a, a question mark <laughs> at the notice. end of it. So I, I think there is a decent chance the Fed is done, but there the door has been kept open maybe for uh, another hike. And I think obviously the, the jobs data coming up this week as well as uh, inflation data between now and December will be uh, where the why the needle moves if it does. All right. So in this current environment, higher for longer, dovish pause, done with a question mark. You're saying right now free cash flow. That's really the important metric right now when you're picking stocks. I want to show the audience this is not your pick, but these are the top free ca free cash flow generating companies from our CNBC stock screener. You can find this on CNBC.com. You see the listings right here. Just to give a people a sense of, of the biggest free cash flow generators, again, not your picks, Lizanne, but give us a sense. Why is this the metric that's so important right now? Well, actually, I think it's one of two or three metrics that are really important right now. High free cash flow, interest coverage, basically self-funding companies, companies that, that aren't at the mercy of having to roll over debt or come back either via uh, you know, market forces or try to go to traditional lending sources. They can, they can fund the interest on their debt. Many companies, in fact, took on debt during the 0% interest environment, not because they needed to to fund operations. They did it because it was so cheap to borrow. And in many cases, they did it for reasons like buying back stock. So I think you want those self-funding companies that are essentially the anti-zombies.